Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about difference between Ansible AWX and Ansible Tower and also basically going to discuss about what is Ansible Automation Platform. By the way, if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. And some of the people, they are not able to find all the videos in a playlist. So I would suggest if you are watching a video and if you want to you know, watch the full course of that topic, you can go to playlist. You can see like, for example, under Ansible playlist, I have 16 videos. So if you go ahead and play this uh, playlist you'll be able to see all the videos uh, yeah, one by one you know in a sequence so here you can see all the videos are available here similarly again for any topic like azure or, or any other topic you can go to the playlist and watch the complete playlist now here you can see i have installed ansible awx and if i just log into awx what you will notice is the interface is pretty same okay so whatever is there in awx you will notice similar feature in ansible tower as well now Ansible Tower is right now known as Ansible Automation Platform. So basically Ansible Automation Platform and Tower is same. And then Ansible AWX is basically an open source addition of all the features which is there in Ansible Automation Platform. So whatever steps which I'm showing you here, like you know in previous lesson i showed you how to run a playbook from awx and then in upcoming lesson i'm going to show you how to create workflow probably smtp integration integration with a cloud and so on so all these steps are going to be same in ansible tower or ansible automation platform the only big difference here is that ansible awx is an open source and again uh, ansible automation platform is a, a paid edition which is subscription based so if you want to go ahead and purchase Rensi uh, red hat ansible automation platform you can go ahead and check about their pricing they offer you know, a lot of different environment for example you have like managed environment then self-managed environment and again pricing for all of these is going to be different and also support uh, window is also going to be different for example you can see there are two support systems which are available uh, the first one is standard which is like you are going to get support window of 8 a.m to 5 pm and then you have premium where you are going to get 24 by 7 support now in order to see the pricing again you can go on and click on any of the uh, for example let's say if you want to see pricing of red hat ansible automation platform which is going to run on aws marketplace you can go there you can click on the link and then you have to basically again click here and select the region in which you want to go ahead and install it for example if i select emea then it is taking me basically to aws amazon console now here you can see the pricing and also here you can see red hat ansible automation platform you can run it up to 100 managed node and here you can see typical total price so it's gonna cost you probably one dollar per hour here you can see the pricing if you are running it or if you are managing basically up to 100 nodes again depending on you know what you are selecting and how many target nodes you are managing using red hat ansible automation platform pricing and all going to be different but in this case you are going to get 24 by 7 support and if anything goes wrong uh, in production you are going to get support from uh, red hat so that's the only thing if you are already well familiar with with Ansible uh, and you know how to manage it and your enterprise basically doesn't really want to pay for any new product in that case you can go with Ansible AWX it has all the features which is there in paid version as well only thing is the support system so if anything goes wrong in Ansible AWX and if you want some support you basically have to go and ask the question in the community and then you probably have to wait until someone in community answers the question and that's how you are going to manage your Ansible AWX instance in short basically the only difference is that Ansible AWX is an open source and Ansible automation platform is a paid edition where you get support from Red Hat and all. So see you guys in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.